In this video, we're going to calculate the total area under a function using geometric formulas. They say find the total area between the graph of the function f of x equal absolute value of x minus 1, minus 1, and the x-axis over the interval negative 5 to 5. So the first thing I want to do is a graph the function. If I plug in 1, so if I make a little t-chart here, and I plug in 1, I would end up with 0 here, absolute value of 0, 0, minus 1, so I get 1, negative 1. I'm going to plot 1, negative 1 here. So 1, negative 1. And then I'm going to plug in both negative 5 and 5, which are my endpoints here. So negative 5, when I plug it in there, I get negative 5 minus 1, which would be negative 6. Absolute value of that would be 6. And 6 minus 1 would be 5. And then we'll plug in positive 5. So I do 5 minus 1. That's 4. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'm going to plot these points and see if I can get this uh, graph to look decent. So negative 5, 5 would be right here. And then I have 5, 3, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. And so I have this function that looks like so. Now they want us to find the area between the x-axis and the, the graph. So I'm going to be looking for this area here, this area in here, and then this little piece right here. So these are three triangles, and I'm going to label this 1, 2, and 3. And the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. And so I'm going to say that my areas are going to be, for the first one, 1 half base times height plus 1 half base times height for the second one plus 1 half base times height for the third one. So what is the base of this triangle? Well, this looks to go through uh, 0, 0. So the base of this would be 5. The height of this would be 5, because we went up 5 there. So for the first triangle, we're going to write this as 1 half 5 times 5. Plus the second triangle, uh, let's see. If I plug in 3 here, I need a, this might be, graph just a little weird, but if I plug in 3 here into this function, 3 minus 1 is 2, absolute value of 2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 3, 1 is a, um, is a coordinate, so 1, 2, 3, 1 would be up here. So I want to know where does this thing cross the x-axis at? Well, does it cross the x-axis at 2? So I actually have these off a little bit, so let's see, 2 I do another t-chart here, plug in 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, absolute value 1, 1, minus 1, 0. So this is actually supposed to cross right there. So the base would be from 2 to 5, the base of that triangle would be 2 to 5, which would be 3 for this triangle. And the height here is um, 3, because we got 5 comma 3, so we've got for the third triangle, 3, 3. So we're going to write plus 1 half, 3 times 3. And for this little triangle here, this has got a base of 2. So 1 half times 2 and a height of 1. So the height here is just 1. So if we multiply all these things together, we end up with 25 over 2 plus... 2 over 2, which is just 1. Actually, let's leave it as 2 over 2 so we can add them together easier. Plus uh, 9 over 2. 
Add these together, you get 27 plus 9, that's 36 over 2, which is 18. So the total area for this function would be 18.